Hashtag. Ah, uh, so the video I was planning to make today kind of fell through. Turns out that it's gonna need more prep than I originally thought, so I'm going to put that on the back burner for now and instead do a tag. This is the Rainbow Book Science tag and it was created by Arictine Reads. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I was tagged by Charlie over at Charlie Reads. And basically you just create a rainbow with the spines of books that you own. For red, I went with Paper Towns by John Green. I finally read this at the beginning of this year and it's super good, but I think that YouTube is well aware of that information, so we'll move on and talk about other things. For orange, obviously I had to go with a penguin spine, I mean, come on. I thought about going with Kangaroo by D.H. Lawrence because I have a really cool old copy from the 60s and it's got that, uh, that classic penguin orange spine, but I haven't read this yet, so that felt slightly disingenuous to me. So instead, I went with Harun and the Sea of Stories, which has the newer penguin orange spine. This was good, but I found it a little bit slight. I kind of hope the movie rights to this get picked up, because I think it would make a really charming animated film. For yellow, I went with Lamb by Christopher Moore. Oh man, this does not want to show up on camera. There we go. This is one of my favorite books. It's so good. For green, I went with The Princess Bride by William Goldman. I sort of hate this edition. I think it's kind of ugly, but I love this book. Like, this is my go-to never fail book recommendation. No one has ever regretted reading The Princess Bride. For blue, I went with A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. I don't know how well it's going to pick up on camera, but it's this really nice, like, gray blue. My copy is a 70s paperback that I found at a book sale once with the cool original cover. Oh, so pretty. I should really reread this soon. I love it and I haven't read it in years. For Blue, I went with Beautiful People by Simon Doonan. This was originally published under another title, which I can't remember right now, but it was adapted into a television show called Beautiful People, and this is the tie-in edition. This is really good. It's all like stories from his life and about his family. If you like David Sedaris, I think you'd like this a lot. And I had a weirdly hard time coming up with one for Violet. I do not have a lot of books with purple spines for some reason. But I finally found this collection of 100 selected poems by E. Cummings. I will be the first to tell you that I have read almost no poetry and I do not know a damn thing about it but this is good. I like it. I think this might actually be the only poetry book that I own. And there they are all together. Look at how pretty they are. So that is it for this tag. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow for the last of the week of videos. Ah, bye.